Hey guys, welcome back to Offroad Nova. Just want to do a quick little video. I need to open up my dash up into the head unit. Um, got a loose connection for my reverse light. So just gonna make a quick little video about that. Um, should just be in and out. Um, hopefully this helps out some of you guys. I know this is out there on the forums and whatnot, but just thought I'd make a video while I was at it. So let's get into it. All right, so all you're gonna need is a socket, a 10 millimeter socket and ratchet. Um, the extension's not completely necessary, but it helps for some of the angles you gotta reach. So basically what we're gonna be doing is just removing this center area um, so that we can pull out the hand unit and get in there and check my connections. Um, pretty simple process, just a couple bolts and just uh, some clips, so. Let's get into it. Before I forget, uh, if this helps you guys out, please like the video, uh, subscribe and comment if you wanna see anything else in particular. If you have any ideas for videos and whatnot that you wanna see me do, be more than happy to address them and try to get them done. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So again, the goal of this is just gonna be basically to remove this outer silver bezel here which retains the head unit. Um, you can pull off this area around the gate cluster gauge, um, the gauge cluster, sorry. Um, I don't think you actually need to remove anything else to pull that off, but it doesn't hurt to uh, do so, it makes it a little bit easier. But if you wanted to get into there, you pretty much just pull it by these sides carefully and it's all just clips that hold it in there. Um, and then you'll just have to disconnect any connections you have over here. Uh, it doesn't hurt to take off this bottom part. You're gonna have to do that to remove this bezel, but this will just be focusing on this. So let's get into it. So first thing, you're going to wanna pull this out, out this little tray, just click it open, and then you just kind of wiggle from either side. And sorry, I don't have a cameraman, so. I will do my best by myself. Next thing, with the center console open, you're just gonna pull up on these sides here. Not too hard. Um, and it should just slide over this, but you can have connections in here. Um, on yours, you'll probably just have the DAC connection and or heated seats, unless you have the ride control, you might have something there, but um, most of these should be blank. But yeah, just unplug those. Uh, it's not really, it's pretty self-explanatory, just a little tedious. Some of them are a little hard to reach, but I'm gonna disconnect those and pull this off. So once that's off, you can just set that to the side and then you can pull up this silver bezel here. And it pulls off over the top the same way. You can set that to the side. And then, we're gonna have a little bolt in here. It's gonna be 10 millimeter. It also has a Phillips head, but you know, if you already got the socket, I'm gonna get that one off. Put it back. Okay, so I got that bolt removed. Just, just a little screw. Um, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this lower panel here. Um, in the process, this is gonna come off, so I'm just gonna take it off now. Just snaps on. Make the ignition. Just hold on to that. Um, you're not gonna have to disconnect any of these switches. It's just freeing up a little bit of space so you can pull off that center bezel. So essentially we're just gonna remove a bolt here and one more down there. And then once we can pull that free, there's one bolt further behind that one there that we're just gonna need to disconnect because it holds this onto another portion of the body. So let me remove that one and the other one and I'll show you the third. Okay, so once you've removed that bolt there, and that one there, you can just pull this down. I usually just grab it like right there, give it a little tug. And it's pretty loose because I've done this a few times. The clips just get a little bit looser over time, but um, it should always go back in, shouldn't have any major issues. So you might have to pull just a little bit harder, but yep, so that's out. And then let me see if I can get this on camera. Yeah, 
that bolt right back there is the last one to get for this side. So let me get that one, and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, got the third bolt out of there. So we're gonna need to take off this little AC control panel. Um, pretty easy. Once that screws out down there, make sure it's out the one right behind the cubby. You'll just grip underneath. I usually just pull on each side a little bit and just give it a little tug. Nothing too crazy, but give it a little force. There you go. The clips come free. And make sure the car is off before you disconnect this. And do not put the key back in until you have this panel in because I've heard it can throw an airbag code that you will have to get cleared by the dealer. I don't think you can do it with any home remedies as far as I know. So make sure that key stays out while this panel is disconnected. So let me unplug that. Um, it's pretty straightforward, just a little difficult to do with one hand. And we'll go to the next step. All right, got that panel disconnected. So this is how everything should look. Um, we're gonna take out these two bolts next because they hold this face plate on. Um, and then typically there's two more that hold in the head unit. I don't have mine in there right now. You'll see that in a minute, but we're gonna have to disconnect this switch, this switch, and this switch. Um, pretty easy, all self-explanatory once you get in there. So let me undo these two bolts and show you how it looks when it's coming off. All right, once you got those two bolts out holding the rest of this face plate on, you can just give it a tug on each side should come out pretty easily and then you're gonna come in behind disconnect these switches and then you can pull it off freely um, I'm gonna disconnect those and I'll be right back so once you have those switches disconnected you can just work it around a little bit to get it free sometimes it gets a little hung up down in this area and on that side um, but just work it around a little bit it'll come out um, and you don't need to worry about getting these connections back in the right place. They're all different types of connectors, so don't worry about that. And that's about it, guys. Um, typically, there's another screw there and there, bolts, whatever, um, that retain that head unit in there. Um, the way mine is, I just couldn't get it all lined up uh, to fit with the aftermarket unit I have. So I just didn't put them back in. Everything else holds it in securely once it's all put back together, so it wasn't really an issue. But that's about it. So hopefully this helped out some of you guys. Um, I've been pretty busy lately, uh, just with work and whatnot, but hopefully pretty soon here I'll have a little bit more time to get into some more videos. Um, got a couple ideas in the works hopefully a couple trips this fall we'll see it just depends um, but we'll get into it soon enough well guys i hope you enjoyed the video let me know down in the comments what you think if you have any questions um, if you want to know how to do anything else in particular i will try and help you out as best i can uh, remember to like the video comment subscribe um, got like I said, a couple more ideas in the works. I need to finish routing my CB antenna. Um, still do want to do a review on those tires for you at some point. Um, everything else has been holding up pretty great on the rig. I'm doing my brakes soon. I've had them for a long time and just haven't been able to get around to it, but replacing the front calipers with uh, some power stop calipers, uh, powder coated in red to match the rear powder coated red calipers. Um, but that's about it. So thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, let's wrap.